the channel. I hope everybody is doing amazing. Y'all, let's go ahead and jump into these reads. I just have a few reads to record for this block of readings, and then we'll pick up um, whenever we, you know what I mean, pick up whenever we meet again, okay? Um, but let's jump into it. First off, a few things I got this morning that were not a part of this message when I got the download for this message. Um, one is a song, okay? I woke up this morning to do, 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 do. Turn her left cheek like do 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 do. Okay, so I'm gonna have that song dropped in the description box below. You guys probably know that song. It's a familiar TikTok dance challenge thing. Um, so you probably heard the beat. Um, but listen to the words because or watch the video. There may be a message there for you. I don't know. Okay, but I did hear that this morning. There's three things I heard. I heard that. Uh, well, two things I heard and one thing that I saw. So. Um, the thing that I heard was that the other thing I heard was someone's been left out. Okay. Someone's being left out. All right. Um, the next thing is the thing that I saw, which was the message that I premiered on, not premiered, but the message that I uploaded to the community board. And it's, um, a previously recorded ancestor message that says, uh, you're getting back something like you're getting back everything whatever they took. Okay. Let me just, let me get the right title. Hold on. While I'm over here trying to guess what it said. It says ancestor messages. That thing they took from you is being returned. Okay. So check out that reading because something about the energy of that read is highly significant. Okay. Um, to today's message. All right. So let's jump into this. The title of this read is your presence is global. Okay. Thank y'all to anybody who's joining us for the first time. Welcome in. Okay. Um, be sure to stay to the end. All right. And um, y'all, if y'all are feeling the energy or vibing with it, hit the like button if it resonates with you in any type of way so that that energy could circulate for somebody else. All right. Um, your presence is global. Okay. Uh, and this is something that I actually heard in the spirit when I got this message. Okay. Um, I got this message actually for us last Wednesday at 9.44 p.m. Wow, those numbers could be significant, 999, 444, okay, or things like that. Even 222, as I'm looking at the clock, it's 1222, okay. Um, someone's birthday could be June 4th, okay, or December 22nd, all right. Um, or you could be a life path number 12, a life path number 22, a life path number 6, a life path number four, a life path number 10. Okay. All right. So anyway, guys, or those numbers, just maybe it's your favorite number. I don't know, but take it as it resonates. Let's get into it. Your presence is global affirmations. Let me tell you about these affirmations. They will fuel you up at this time. I was guided to use that, um, uh, post for our community board today because it came to me again last night where it was like, the more I spoke these affirmations to myself, I could feel myself like be powered up, right? Y'all know I love giving you guys the Super Mario Brother um, reference or video game reference where it's like, do, 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 you know what I mean? When your energy is powered up. So it's given that type of a vibe, particularly at this time, if you recite or declare those affirmations over your life, um, you're like receiving benefits. It's like vitamins. It's like instant nutrients, okay, to your soul and spirit and to your mind, okay? It's hitting on a cosmic level at this time, okay? Now, normally your affirmations, you know, you recite them over time and eventually you start to believe it and you manifest it, right? But it's a vibe where in this instance, whatever you're declaring about yourself, it's like, so be it. It is so. It's like immediate, okay? Just 3.55 on the clock, all right? So, um, affirmations, like I said, they will fuel you up at this time. If you're feeling low on gas, if you're feeling like, you know, I'm a little low on energy, or I'm just, I don't know, my confidence is down, or I don't know, you, whatever y'all out there feeling, okay, um, speak these affirmations into yourself. Even if your funds is low, speak this affirmation, speak affirmations into your finances, speak them into yourself, speak affirmations into your circumstances, okay? All right. Now, you are held from within the divine, okay? This is this is what I actually saw. I saw us being held from the confirmation, from the inside confirmation two times, okay? Um, wow, it says, I'm a parent. This is Snapchat messages, okay? It says, I'm a parent. So the fact that that title came through like that, um, as I'm talking about you being held from within the divine, it's like, 
that's confirmation. Spirit is like, I'm your parent. I hold you from within myself. Much like a child um, is held by their mother, even after giving birth, right? Um, the mother still holds their child near and dear to their heart. A good mother, right, does, okay? So it's like that type of a vibe. Spirit is a good parent. God is a good parent. The divine is a good parent, okay? And he's holding you and the, at this time within his self, okay? Or herself, however y'all want to reflect on the divine, okay? I feel like the divine is all of the above. So take it as a resonance, all right? But you guys are pulling energy at this time from everything all at once, okay? You guys are pulling energy at this point in particular time from everything all at once. Um, the way that I saw this in a vision is like basically every lifetime you've ever lived, every place you've ever been, every person, every living thing, everything that exists, you're pulling energy from it at this time. It's like you are just, you are a hull, a hub, a hub, a whole hole or a hub of energy at this time, of collective energy, okay? Now, people are or have come toward you to show you some type of honor or respect. I saw this in a vision. You guys could be um, receiving this honor or respect verbally. You can notice that people are telling you how appreciative they are of you, or you could sense or feel this energy on an intuitive level. Okay. Um, or like me, you could get a vision or a download about it. Okay. Um, I particularly saw, uh, I'm, well, I'm going to tell you cause it's in my notes. It says last night. Now remember this was last Wednesday. Last night I saw people kneeling before you. Okay. Having realized that your words, your predictions, um, your enlightenment or the guidance that you have provided, that it rings true. Now, this is coming after a time where maybe people, they didn't really believe what you was talking about. They weren't really um, believing in you or believing what you had to say. OK, um, but things have changed. Um, it's given a vibe where like behind the scenes, the divine has actually validated what it is that you were guided to say. And it's like, he's, he's confirmed it to people. So people are in their own way, um, getting these or having these epiphanies or light bulb moments about something that you brought to the table or something that you had to say. And they're like, oh, they were right. Oh my God, it was true. Oh my God, this happened. It's like giving that type of a vibe. This is what's going on behind the scenes. Now people may or may not tell you this. Like I said, they may or may not come to you in the physical and tell you about this, um, but this is definitely something that's happening behind the veil, okay? Now, this um, last moon has or it will bring forth many blessings for you. Now, before I took this note, um, I don't think we had had the full moon yet, or we were in between the full moon or something like that, um, but... The way that I got it was uh, the last full moon. I tapped into the full moon, looked around like, hey, Mama Luna, what, what's going on, girl? You looking plump there, girl? You looking pretty, girl? You know, I always talk to the moon. I talk to everything, y'all. So <laughs> I was talking to the moon. I'm like, dang, you show is pretty. You looking thick, girl. You don't want to tap her on the ass. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, just being funny. But anyway, it was that type of vibe. That's how I talk to Mama Luna, though. I'd be like, hey, girl. You know what I mean? Especially when she gets full. Like, girl, you show looking thick, girl. You look at full, girl. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> I was doing this and her response was, I'm bringing forth blessings. But she didn't say just I'm bringing forth blessings. She said, I'm bringing forth many blessings for you. OK, so that's what's going on with this last full moon. You guys could start to sense this energy moving into your guys's lives, especially now that we've embraced Scorpio season. Happy birthday, Scorp. OK, it's officially your season, Scorpio. OK, but anyway, um. So yes, back to the fact of you guys citing and declaring these affirmations. It says, cite and declare your affirmations as they are the signature required for your delivery, shipment, or manifestations, okay? So the more that you, you recite these affirmations at this time, you're going to be like signing on the dotted line. You're going to be like uh, standing in agreement with what it is that God has for you. Um, but it's like you're seeing is believing. Oh my God, I just heard that so clear. Seeing is believing. Take that as it resonates, okay? I just heard that so clear in my left ear. Um, not what I was trying to say. It's not in my notes, but it straight came out like that. Okay, so it's something, it has to do with your faith. 
it's like if you stand in faith, stand by faith that you are abundant, that you are um, confident, that you are, you know what I mean, uh, uh, blessed, exceeding, uh, exceedingly and abundantly, right? Or that you are financially stable or that you are securing your job or that you are, you know, um, whatever you guys are affirming about yourselves. It's like having the faith to stand in that right now is going to be the signature that's required for you to unlock it. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Now something about emoji wrapping paper is significant. I don't know if that's someone is, it's an idea that you need to create, or maybe you've been thinking about what can I do, or I don't know if this is something that's out already, but I had a thought about emoji wrapping paper and I was like, you know, it is about to be the holiday season. Um, people could be out there, you know, doing that early uh, shopping or preparation for the season, but wrapping paper that has emoji faces all over it. I saw that. Okay. So take that as it resonates. That's what I have for you guys today. Be sure to check out the song in the description box below. And my loves, I love each and every one of you guys. Thank y'all so much for clicking in. Thank y'all for hitting that like button. And thank you guys for being a part of this soul tribe family that we have over here. All right. I love each and every one of y'all and I'll see y'all in tomorrow's read. Have a great day.